John in Manassas, Virginia writes, please explain the reason for using either a high output phono cartridge or a low output phono cartridge. Many thanks for all your videos. My pleasure, sir. Basically, let's talk about phono cartridges as two different types, moving coil, moving magnet. I don't know that we cover this often enough. And of course, we've been over it before, but we'll go through it again because a moving coil cartridge is a low output cartridge and a moving magnet cartridge is a high output cartridge. And the difference is in the way they work, in the fundamental differences in the way they work. In all the cases, we have a cantilever, the needle, and it's wiggling around in response to the grooves on the record. This motion needs to be turned into an electrical signal. How to do that? Well, the classic way to turn motion into electricity is through the use of a magnet and a coil. I've been through this and I have a, if you look up on YouTube, there's a, what is it, a one hour, 50 minute movie that I made. If you look it up, it's called Coal to Coal Train. Clever, eh? And like John Coltrane. <laughs> But look at that movie, and I explain there in great detail, and we produced it. It's a pretty cool little video. How the magic of a coil and a magnet have changed the world. Everything we do is based on this same phenomena of coils and magnets. So when you take a magnet and you put it near a coil, there is an electrical energy built up in the coil and it's this magnetic field getting near this coil. And so uh, a generator, if you will, has this magnet that spins around. You put the energy, you spin the magnet, and the magnet comes closer and farther away as it's spinning to this coil. Or you can spin the coil and have a fixed magnet. And that's the basis of a phono cartridge. So onto this cantilever, we have, at the end of it, a magnet, or a coil. That's the part that's moving. And that's why we call it a moving magnet because at the end of the cantilever is a magnet. Or it's a moving coil. At the end of the cantilever is a coil. In one case where we have the moving magnet, there are coils of wire around it and the magnet is moving closer to the coils that are sitting in the, in the, in the head shell. In the other case, we have fixed magnets around the outside in, in, the, in the head shell, and at the end of the cantilever we have a coil, and that coil moves closer to the magnets. Now one is far more efficient than the other. Moving coil cartridges don't have as much output by a factor of about 30 than a moving magnet. But what differences would it make? Well, when you have a heavy mass, because remember magnets are made out of heavy stuff, iron, um, neodymia, any uh, ceramic, but, but it's, it's a heavy hunk of something at the end of the cantilever. You have all the problems of a lot of mass and as it moves it keeps going with this inertia and blah blah blah. So it isn't as good as a device that perfectly tracks the grooves of the record as one that has very low mass which is a very light coil of wire. That doesn't have a lot of mass. So the moving coil is always going to be a lot quicker, a lot better sounding than most moving magnets. Now, of course, that's a huge generalization, but hopefully that explains your question, okay? Thanks for a chance to, to, to bring that up. Okay, talk to you later, <laughs> bye.